hello what's up guys you are welcome back to my youtube channel so we are still on the 25th day in the month of may 2020 my time here is 10 o'clock in the night okay so wherever you are good morning good afternoon and good evening depends on your location at this time of the day so um nam the kanu the leader of ipob has uh, lamented that everything those who fought um everything those who fought for biafra accomplished has been destroyed by some selfish pro biafra activists all right um, i'll give you details of this story but uh, before then don't forget to subscribe and um, also click on the bell icon it is part of your effort to support us please um it is actually free so subscribe and also make sure you turn on the bell notification so uh, you get instant updates whenever we post a new video all right the um, kanu who is the leader of ipob uh, we all know the story especially those ipob we all know the story uh, from beginning to the end uh, how and why namdi kanu is not in nigeria so he's on exile should i put it that way and um actually made this comment during a live broadcast yesterday on the radio biafra okay uh, that was may 24 yesterday sunday so um, obviously namdi kanu reacted so angrily okay where he stressed that he would have so biafra struggle if he wanted to while he was in kuje prison so we remember on 28 april 2017 namdi khan was released from a prison on bail after spending almost a year in detention okay and um, also remember that before the emergence of uh, namdi khan as the face of biafra struggle let um, chuku emeka okay ojuku who was a Nigerian military officer and a politician who served as the military governor of the eastern region of Nigeria in 1966. Uh, he was the leader uh, was the leader of the breakaway Republic of Biafra from 1967 to 1970. So after Ojuku died, okay, um, about 78 years of age after Ojuku died on November 26, 2011, Ravu Wazurike, the leader of the MASOP movement for the actualization of the sovereign state of Biafra, okay, um, a group canvassing for the secession and sovereignty of eastern Nigeria, became the face of Biafra struggle before Namdi Kano took over with uh, his IPOB. So since Kanu's emergence as the face of Biafra, his group, that is the IPOB and MASOP, founded by Wazurike, have been on, uh, should I say, loggerhead with Kanu constantly attacking the MASOP leader for allegedly taking kickbacks from the Nigerian government to sabotage the struggle. Okay, so it's an accusation which has over time been countered by Wazurike. Okay, who has also described Namdi Kanu as a sold-out activist. So in what appears to be a reaction to the ongoing rift between uh, the different Biafra group, Namdi Kanu said on Radio Biafra that, according to him, we are destroying everything that those who fought for Biafra accomplished due to our selfish interests. If I wanted to sell this struggle, I would have done it in Kuje prison. They came to me and I turned them down. So that was what Namdi Kano said. So the allegation is that um, they came to him, okay, and um, he didn't want to take any bribe from the government for him to, you know, give up the struggle of the actualization of Biafra. All right, so let me know what you guys think on the comment section below. All right, as um, Namdi Kano got angry, that um, some people is um, sabotaging the struggle for the actualization of Biafra. What do you think about this? Let me know what you think uh, on the comment section below. You have anything to contribute? 
put it down in the comment section below i will see you guys in another video